Community service or service, they say, is actually the rent that we pay for our time here on this earth. I strongly believe that that should really be a part of who we all are. It just depends on how you choose to live that out. I had the opportunity to live in the Caribbean, born and raised. I actually moved to the United States when I was in high school. But growing up in St. Thomas was a really great experience for me because I was surrounded not only with my immediate family, but aunts, uncles, cousins, grandmother. The other positive thing about growing up in the Virgin Islands is that I saw a lot of people who looked like me in leadership roles and positions. So the idea of success and what success looked like looked exactly like me. When I think about um, my childhood and, and those who influenced me, there's no doubt that my family, my immediate family, really had a profound influence on really who you see today. I often say to my mother and my father, they planned the other four and I came along in a moment of passion. So that's why I'm the way that I am. <laughs> As the president and CEO of the Urban League of Broward County, I have the privilege and honor to represent the organization locally, statewide, and nationally on several boards. One of the unique opportunities being the CEO of an Urban League is to be the voice of a community, to be the voice of people who normally don't get to sit at tables to be able to influence policy and practice. And that is one aspect of my role in community that I sincerely enjoy and that I take very very seriously because I know that when I sit at a table that I'm not just representing Jermaine Smith Baugh, I am representing people who will never or may have limited opportunities to really be an advocating voice at the table. I get to go from the suites to the streets and back and forth. There are seven urban leagues across the state of Florida. I am the only woman. Being a woman really gives me a unique perspective in the way that I cultivate and nurture relationships, the way in which I choose to ensure the integrity, at least as much as I can, um, of all the affiliates in the state of Florida. And as they often you know, say that Jermaine is concerned about Broward County Urban League and every Urban League in the state of Florida. And I really think that comes from the nurturing spirit that I have and that I bring to the table as a woman. Leadership is almost like trial by fire. So you have to be in there, you have to do it. And the people that I've done leadership with over the last 22 years in particular really have been the staff and board members of the Urban League of Broward County. So whatever I thought I knew about myself related to leadership, whether it be good, bad, or somewhere in between, has all been tested really at the Urban League. To be selected as an African American achiever makes my heart jump for joy. The fact that the four honorees this year are women, I think that is a phenomenal opportunity to celebrate women um, and leadership of women um, in our state and in our region. And like I said, magic happens when women come together. I have chosen to give my donation to three organizations. One, the Urban League of Broward County. The other is the First Church of the Open Bible, which is my spiritual home base. And third is an organization called Sisters. Sisters is an organization that I co-founded in college. And to think that this organization 20 plus years later still exists with multiple chapters across the state of Florida and also professional chapters really makes me be in complete and total awe. So I'm often asked, after 22 years of being at the Urban League, what is your legacy going to be? It's really gonna be the way that we have served others. No one is really gonna ask you for a laundry list of all the awards that you have and what you've done, but they're going to remember the way that you served them when you had the opportunity to do so.